Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of MC Rewatch. In this episode, we're going to be rewatching Avengers Age of Ultron. Before we get into it, I do want to apologize that I have not been uploading too much MCU rewatch lately. It's because there's just so much other content coming out every week that I've been focusing on those and I've kind of been putting the MCU rewatch lower on my list of priorities of stuff to watch. But I'm finally back. I'm rewatching Age of Ultron and also I do have to come clean. I already watched Ant-Man. I apologize. Ant-Man is the movie after this in the MCU rewatch, but I watched it twice earlier this summer just for fun before I decided to do an MCU rewatch. And then I was at a hotel on vacation, I think two weeks ago, and I then I rewatched the movie as well because we had no other choice. There are no movies on TV. So I already watched it three times. I don't want to rewatch it for the fourth time in one summer. So I vlogged myself watching it a little bit, but that video is going to be a lot shorter and mostly a review of the movie. But also before we get into this video, if you guys are new in here and you enjoy these MC rewatch episodes, make sure you hit that subscribe button and to notification on as soon as anytime I upload a new video or I go live. Both always get more time. Let's get right into rewatching Avengers Age of Ultron. Yo, I'm sorry, that intro is so, so fire. Oh my God, they like show every single character in that battle. And it's just, it, it really does feel like the Avengers. It doesn't even feel like, it's like, I feel like in the first Avengers movie, it felt like it was so much Iron Man were like center, which it was, it was obviously still a team movie, but this intro scene really captivates the entire team so well. It feels All right, can we talk about how gory that one shot is? Oh my God. I don't really understand how Hulk turned into like such a crazy creepy monster like nothing in the end of Avengers or like last time we saw him he wasn't like this I don't know why she's treating him like a, like a rabid monster like makes no sense <laughs> Bro, that scene haunts me so much. Like, we know it's just like a vision. We know it's not real, but like, it haunts me so much. I didn't record it, but the title scene for this movie is absolutely awesome. I love how it builds up to the title scene. It's just so well done. The intro to this movie, like everything before the title scene, is so perfect. We get to see just enough of Quicksilver and Wanda. We get enough of the team. We get enough of Iron Man's solo moment. It's just, it's really well, like, it's really well executed. Jarvis can't download a data schematic this dense. We can only do it while we have the scepter here. That's three days. Give me three days. So you're going for artificial intelligence and you don't want to tell the team. That's right. You know why? Because we don't have time for a city hall debate. I don't want to hear the man was not meant to meddle medley. I love to see Tony like trying to convince himself that making Ultron is fine, but like he's already, con he convinces himself so fast that all he has to do is basically convince the only other like crazy smart scientist, which is Bruce. Down in the real world, we're faced with ugly choices. Who sent you? I see a suit of armor around the world. Ultron in the flesh. Or no, not yet. That dialogue will never be defeated. Like that dialogue is so, so good. That, that entire, like the, the, all, everything he says there is just so perfect and menacing and scary, but awesome. I don't even know if like they, they could have made this a horror movie. Like Ultron is so scary. Like the whole idea of Ultron is literally terrifying and I love it. And they like, they're, they're implementing slight horror aspects in here, but not enough. I think they could have gone full scare mode on this because Ultron is one scary villain we can bust arms dealers all the live long day but that up there that's that's the end game how are you guys planning on beating that together we'll lose and we'll do that together too 
So I know that he mentioned like Endgame. He said Endgame. That's pretty sick in my opinion. He also said we'll lose together, we'll win together, whatever. But also Tony saw them lose and, and it was like a space area. Like he saw everyone dead and it was in like a space biome area when Wanda was controlling his mind. So he feels like they're going to lose. So it feels like he has no hope left. So I think that kind of makes me sympathize for Tony a little more because he saw something where everyone was dead but him and then they said it's his fault. Like, how could you let this happen? So I kind of see Tony's point now and I didn't really catch that before. I wondered why only you two survived Strucker's experiments. Now I don't. We will make it right. You and I can hurt them. But you will tear them apart. Just the cynical, like, nature of Ultron combined with Pietro and, and Wanda, like, it's just crazy how, like, how well the dynamic works together and how well Ultron can team up with Wanda and Pietro, but Wanda and Pietro are still, like, great characters that we sympathize with. I just think it was the perfect mix of, I guess, personalities within Wanda and Pietro for them to have that background where they like obviously hate Tony Stark and then Ultron's background with Tony Stark, all that kind of stuff. It just, everything just combines really well. Is this your first time intimidating someone? I'm afraid, uh, not that afraid. Cuttlefish, deep sea fish, they make lots, disco lots. <laughs> Hypnotize their Why did I completely forget that Andy Serkins was in this movie? Like, I knew they mentioned Wakanda, I know they mentioned Vibranium, I know all of that, but I completely forgot Andy Serkins was in Age of Ultron. Nobody has to break anything. Clearly, you've never made an omelet. You beat me by one second. Well, you've suffered. Ah, <laughs> Captain America. God's righteous man. Pretending you could live without a war. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Ultron's voice itself just literally scares a living crap out of me, but also like his dialogue. So like whenever he like talks to just like random characters, the way he just connects to them instantly is so scary. And then also just like the Stark thing between Pietro and Wanda, just everything just works so well in this movie. And I really love it so far. Personally, I think people overhate it so much. I don't think it's bad at all. <laughs> This might be the best Hulk design when it comes to scariness in the MCU that we have. We've had a bunch of variations of Hulk. We had the OG one in Avengers. We had the Thor Ragnarok one. We had the final Professor Hulk, which I'm not a fan of. But this Hulk in Age of Ultron looks scary as. He is, he actually looks menacing. Like he looks like a genuine Hall of Fame menace to society. Whatever you're gonna do, do it now. <laughs> I really love these fights a lot. I mean, I don't know if they're exactly Avengers 1 level, but they're still super entertaining. Like. What? You didn't see that coming? I'm rerouting the upload. <laughs> Me off. This is Loki like Civil War Part One. I really love the introduction of Vision, not only like the battle to like get to Vision, like to create him, but also like the creation of him with Thor and then just the whole explanation of the Infinity Stones for like the Earth people. Because, you know, we had the explanation of the Infinity Stones in Guardians of the Galaxy already with Peter Quill, with the guy who collects all the stones and stuff like that. I think his name is The Collector, but we've never really had an explanation for these Earth humans. Well, Thor's not really an Earth human, but still like all these Avengers characters. So like these people have never really heard of the Infinity Stones. I mean, they have, but they don't really know all of like everything that has to do with it. And so this introduction with Vision in the mindset, I think it sets it up really 
really well. And so I also think the introduction of Vision was perfectly timed, not just because of like his future in the MCU, but like just the future of the MCU in general, like with the Infinity Stones and with all of that power. Hey, look at me. It's your fault. It's everyone's fault. Who cares? Are you up for this? Are you? Look, I just need to know because the city is, is flying. Okay, look, the city is flying. We're fighting an army of robots. And I have a bow and arrow. None of this makes sense. <laughs> but I'm going back out there because it's my job. Okay, and I can't do my job and babysit. It doesn't matter what you did or what you were. You go out there, you fight, and you fight to kill. Stay in here, you're good. I'll send your brother to come find you, but if you step out that door, you are an Avenger. Honestly, we don't get to see much of Hawkeye's like personality throughout the entirety of the MCU. We get most of it in the Age of Ultron, but this conversation right here makes me love Hawkeye's character so much. And honestly, just makes me really excited for the Hawkeye TV show because he is a mentor for Kate Bishop. So I can't wait to see more of the sympathetic side of Hawkeye. And I think the Hawkeye show will really bring that out in him. Also, just give his character an opportunity to show his emotions. That's the best thing to do! How can you possibly hope to stop me? Like the old man said, together. <laughs> In all honesty, I really like this movie. I have 25 minutes left. I don't understand the hate for it at all. I'm enjoying myself. I'm loving it. I love the storyline. I love the semi-dark themes. I love the jokes in the movie. They're all at the right time. I love the pacing of this movie. And this final battle so far is just absolutely phenomenal. I'm not one to say that I like Quicksilver's death. I really wish they didn't kill him off, but for Wanda's progression and just this movie as a whole, I think Quicksilver's death was best. But again, I don't think they should have killed him off, if that makes sense. The Mind Stone is the fourth of the Infinity Stones to show up in the last few years. It's not a coincidence. Someone has been playing an intricate game and has made pawns of us. And once all these pieces are in position... Triple Yahtzee? You think you can find out what's coming? I do. Besides this one, there's nothing that can't be explained. I love the big picture thoughts here. Just like the Thor mentioning the Infinity Stone, someone has a plan. We just saw Guardians of the Galaxy 1, Thanos trying to get the Infinity Stones. Like, everything just comes together so well in the mcu and i think these movies are just i think they're just so perfect in big picture like even if you don't like a movie in itself you can't and not you can't admit or you can't not admit that they're awesome for the big picture and they all set everything up so well avengers Alright guys, so we just finished re-watching Avengers Age of Ultron and oh my god do I love this movie. I know I don't know why people hate on this movie so much. I think it's a great movie. I just think because it's in the lower side of Avengers movies that people consider it to be bad, but all of the Avengers movies are really good. I think my ranking for the Avengers movies are Infinity War, Endgame, Avengers 1, and then Avengers Age of Ultron. I think Endgame is just up, up above Avengers 1 because of all, just because of how it culminated the universe in general. But besides that, I don't think Avengers Age of Ultron is bad at all. All. It's just so perfect when it comes to being a team movie. Like, I feel like it balances all the aspects well, it introduces new characters well, because this is the age of the MCU. Like, the end of phase two is the age of the MCU where everything is expanding. This is when you have intergalactic cosmic things as well as the grounded things. And this movie balances those aspects so well with Vision and Thor, and then obviously Iron Man and Captain America, as well as other introduced characters like Wanda and Pietro and even Ultron. I think this is a great one. I don't think that I think 
think that a lot of people need to rewatch it and rethink their opinion because this movie has some phenomenal moments. I will say the middle part with Thor is a little bit weird where he's like in the water and then he kind of tries to go on a mission to find out who he like really is. But it does, I think that's kind of necessary just because you have to understand the Infinity Stones in this movie just because we learned about all of that in Guardians. So I feel like they have to mention it on this earthly team. So I think it makes sense. I think it was necessary. I just feel like that part of the movie was boring. I think the way they transitioned into it was cool but like the whole water thing and it it just felt kind of dragged on but other than that I really love this movie I think Vision was perfectly introduced in this movie I think Ultron was awesome I just think he was kind of wasted I feel like Ultron could be way bigger I feel like Ultron can be an absolutely massive threat in the MCU like even he could be a threat right now with this massive scale universe and it would still be super entertaining so I hope he comes back in some shape or form I know he's going to be coming back in and what if and he's going to be collecting all of the infinity stones ultron in general i think that's the reason why people look down on this movie so much is just because they felt like ultron was wasted i agree to an extent but i still think what they did with ultron was awesome i think that the connection between ultron and hydra as well as the connection between hydra and pietro and wanda and then pietro and wanda's connection to iron man and just the avengers in general and then hawkeye and wanda's connection i just think overall all of these aspects work really really well together and that's why i really like this movie but yeah guys that's that's it for this episode of MCU Rewatch. I really think this is a great one. And if you haven't rewatched Age of Ultron in a long time, I really recommend you do so. You might be remembering things wrong if you don't really like it too much, but your opinion might change. So just give it a little rewatch. Like I mentioned earlier in this video, the next episode of MCU Rewatch is going to be Ant-Man, but I'm, I didn't vlog myself watching because I already watched it in a hotel room. So I'm just going to be giving you guys my review. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on so you don't miss any time I upload a new video or I go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.